morning, ladies and gentlemen. Central Libra B, Kashkaba, Gayata, Landuli, British, Kipimetan, Utopia, Amarba, Tankada, Ontonde, Kupi, British, Kupi, Kipimetan, 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 Holy Spirit, I thank you for today. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, for the broadcast this morning. Holy Spirit of God, thank you for walking in me. Thank you for walking in my audience. Holy Spirit, I ask that you get welcome to this place and walk in them as you walk in me in the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the prophetic morning altar. I am your host, Lord Banks Omano. And this morning we will be reading from the book of First John chapter 4 verse 4. It says that you are of Elohim, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. This is one Bible verse that I recommend that all Christians should know. He that is in me is greater than the God, the, the, the God that is in the world. God, I mean small g, little god, demon, demonic god, Satan himself, the bills about all kind of a satanic agent and enemy, all kind of foul spirit, all the challenges you go through. Have you gone to the liberal deliverance ministry? You go to all those deliverance ministries, you see the demons are, are confessing, say, I am a god, I am a king, I am a queen, I am a priest. Oh shit. The God in you is greater than that manifesting in them. You know the spirit of lion is in the Satan and all his agents. So they will always come to make you believe that they are the original. All the people are the fake. But the Bible in the book of 1 John chapter 4, it says, He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. It means he that is in you is greater than sickness. He that is in you is greater than demonic affliction. He that is in you is greater than um, instability. He that is in you is, is greater than all kind of demonic oppression, diseases, uh, battles from your altars, battles from your ancestors. He that is in you is greater than generational curses. How about we hear of generational curses always and not generational blessings? Remember in the book of Exodus 20, when the, uh, uh, oh, was the Exodus 20? Just of a short Exodus chapter 20. I beg your pardon, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, from verse 14. He says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive them their sins and heal their lands. Now I tell you that this by this particular uh, Bible was counter generational curses. Because if you to go back in other verses or chapters, you'll see curses. The sins of our fathers who have descended on the children of the fourth generation to this generation. But if my people who are called by my name shall own themselves and pray, I will hear from heaven. My favorite writer, Kisabi Wasa from Rekinoli, say, If my people who were called by my name will humble themselves and pray and change from the wicked ways. I will hear from heaven. I will hear from heaven. I will hear from heaven. I will hear and I heal their land. The Lord says He's going to heal you, okay? So if the Lord says going to heal you, they must believe and people say, oh, generational art, generational causes, generational this, generational that. He that is in you is going there. You need to be born again. You need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. When Jesus Christ is in you, the Holy Spirit is in you, the same Spirit that quickens the body of Jesus Christ in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11. It means that same Spirit resides in you. If that same Spirit resides in you, it quickens you. It means that he that is in you is greater than sickness. He that is in you is greater than Satan. He that is in you is greater than 
just you know this meal is going to be amazing it's going to be that is meal is greater than all the challenges you go through you need to bring that person you need to call that person to help remember jesus christ was sleeping in the boat and the boat was about to capsize about to sink jesus could be in your life and is sleeping you need to wake up jesus christ you need to call him to walk you need to call him or help him with this if there is one prayer i never stop praying my wife is aware of that oh lord help me oh lord help us oh lord help them oh lord help Kuti state oh lord help nigeria oh lord help my president oh lord help the company i walk oh lord help my people oh lord help those who persecute me the Lord might be asleep in your life. I am telling you the prophetic one and all today to wake the Lord. Keep this fire burning. Get move away from worldly things. Come on to God. Focus on the spiritual thing. The flesh profited nothing or a little. I say nothing, but the flesh profit what? A little. That's why exercise, going to the gym, is going to profit you a little. But how about you eating spiritual food? How about the growth you're going to have? If most of you are to see your spirit man, the picture of the spirit man, some of your spirit men are ants, some fly. The smallest fly. You need to feed your spirit with the word of the Lord. You need to feed your spirit with praise. You need to feed your spirit with fasting. You need to feed your spirit with righteous living. You need to live a whole life. Then uh, uh, he that is in you will become greater, greater, greater. The Lord keeps giving you capacity. He came to a time you don't need, you will come to a time, I beg your pardon, you don't even need to pray. Just by seeing you, they will run away. Peter, have you heard of the stories of Peter? How about Paul? Demons will just say you and they will run away. How about in our present day? Have you heard of greater men like Pastor Chris or Yakima Men? You brother in jail? I remember Osai and a whole lot of them. Demons don't need to oh, stay when they see them, they'll run away. That's the capacity you need to build. Now, if I were you, I wake up every day. I say, He that is in me is greater, so I overcome sin. He that is in me is greater, so I overcome challenges. He that is in me is greater, so I overcome poverty. He that is in me is greater, I overcome riches. He that is in me is greater, I overcome wisdom. He that is in me is greater, so I will succeed. When you speak that to yourself, you feel the spirit, man, you become energized on the spirit, my brothers, my sisters. You will forget that there is any war like that. I tell myself, he that is in me he is greater. I stand in front of the mirror. So he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world, so you will save it. He that is in you is greater, so you will grow it. He that is in me is greater, so you will stand before kings and queens. I am conscious of he that is in me. Are you conscious of the God that is in me? Or is it easy more for your village people? You go in the village, sacrifice goods, sacrifice chickens. That is he that is in you. You're wasting your time. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great God of the greatest people that ever exist in earth, believes in me. Whether you like it or not, technologically, go, 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 check. Christians invented the most. And the Holy Spirit helped them to invent that, in case you do not know. From the Wright brothers to a whole lot of them, go do your research yourself. So you need, to more, you need to have more deposit of the Lord in you. And the Lord is going to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I ask that you help them today. Give them your sin free nature. And the Spirit of God, help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. Father, let the blood of Jesus speak for them. Let the blood of Jesus wash them this morning as they change their ways. Let you recite in them so that he that will be in them will be greater than he that will be in the world. So they will succeed. So they will live a righteous life. So they will excel in so far and do in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you as a prophet today. You're going out as blessed. You're coming back home as blessed. Whatsoever had a stumbling block. Whatever you will pray to the Lord for and receive the there are no answers, I decree release the answers this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace on my life, the grace, the oil on my head, that it will work for you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be delivered. 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 You will be delivered.
if they fight now in the land, they have to use a damn prayer system or use that view or use to not deliver in the land, they have to use the sun has set you free. The sun has set you free. The sun has set you free. May the blood of Jesus speak for you this morning in the mad name of Jesus. Accident are cancelled. Domestic accident cancelled. Domestic accident cancelled. Domestic accident cancelled. That sickness I send back to the sender. That disease back to the sender. Affliction back to the sender. Insanity back to the sender. You will never be broken in the mad name of Jesus. All you need to fulfill what the Lord has written concerning you. May they be released upon you this morning in the mad name of Jesus. I bless you this morning. May the Lord cause the space to shine upon you in the mad name of Jesus. Go and succeed. All this happens at the back of your mind that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Is greater than the strongest man in your village. Is greater than the strongest man in your world. Is greater than that person who says you're not going to give birth. He that is in you is stronger than that witch that says you're not going to give birth. He that is in you is greater than that one who says he will help you because you don't like him. Love for them. He that is in you is greater than poverty. So therefore, go and succeed in the mother name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Peace be to you. Shalom. Now, Mr. Ms. Abed has to tell you for our program on Saturday at 5 a.m. We have a, uh, an outreach. Uh, an outreach program is by 10, but in the morning we have a program, the voice of a prophet, from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Be part of it. The Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Shalom.